Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. I'm John P. Welcome back to live coverage here at the CE Line shows in New York City. I'm getting a tan from all these lights. They're very bright. We are bright. And you know what? This Actually, is I'm different. not getting a tan. I only sunburn. This is different from last year because you can see people behind us, but like they're, it's like we're on a set or something. It kind of is. Where they're like grayed out, yeah. darkened out, and then we have the spotlight. Maybe they did that on purpose. I don't huh. know. I wonder. Who would know? Seems we have professionals working around S here. Speaking of us, of the spotlight, though, <laughs> we've actually got the spotlight on Gabriel here. We do. Thanks uh, for joining us. Goji? Is that how you say it? Goji. Nice. What an awesome name. Does it mean anything, by the Actually, way? Actually, yes. Just like the goji berries, what we bring is security and control and information about your home access. All right. So it's just in the same line of thought. All right. Okay. So with that, let me just introduce you what we do. Yes. Bring it over. I've got the close-up camera right here. Perfect. So this is the goji smart lock. And this is a technology, uh, technology uh, advanced smart lock for the home that lets you feel confident and in control over the home access, giving you all this information that you always wanted to have. Okay. It's not just a beautiful lock to have in your door, but actually it has a camera that takes pictures of everyone that comes into your door. So you receive picture alerts exactly of yeah. who's coming and going from your house. Now, did you guys start out as a Kickstarter project like a year ago or? Actually, we launched an Indiegogo three weeks ago. Indiegogo. Indiegogo. Okay. Three weeks three ago, weeks not a year ago. ago. And, I thought uh, I remembered, so, but I, hey, yeah. I could be wrong on timing. Yeah, yeah. No, but Apparently that's fine. Uh, yeah, we launched three weeks ago. We were so excited. Uh, last week, we went over our target awesome. and we're just yes. cruising along. You know, we've been working on this project for two full years. Wow. And just launching it and getting all this reaction from the people, it's like, oh my God, they do like the product. <laughs> they, they do find it important for their lives. They want to buy it. <laughs> oh, this is such an amazing recognition and I really want to thank absolutely everyone yeah. that is helping us. I, I'm so impressed. Thank you so much. You know awesome. what I love about this new world that uh -huh. we live in with Kickstarter and Indiegogo and everything is the look on his face. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's you it's that reaction when somebody is able to achieve their goals and their dreams that this world that we live in is a, is a making happen. Yeah, and it's and it's nice because it it used to be that it, the barriers to entry were yeah. such that far fewer people. You could have a fantastic idea like this, but you couldn't necessarily get it funded by VCs or somebody else, even if you're willing to give up an arm and a leg. Yeah. But now, you kind of get to let the people vote yeah. with their wallet on what they want to see succeed. Yeah. Oh my God, that's so totally it. And you know, it's not just me. We are, we are an amazing team, so dedicated and so passionate about bringing Goji to life. because. The idea really came from a very basic premise. You wear your wallet in one pocket, your phone on the other. What do you do with your keys? Yeah. In one hand, it's too uh, too bulky on the other pocket. It scratches, scratches your phone. Up. And then, you know, our background is very much on product marketing and product development. So the first thing that we did is we went to the consumers and we really researched what bringing electronics to a log would mean in terms of changing the user experience altogether. We're not about bringing the keys to the phone and giving access to the phone. We're about creating this new experience about home access and being in control over all the information around it. Uh -huh. So that's actually what took us into this path of creating a beautiful product that really spoke of this forward thinking process. Mm -hmm. And with that, we added a camera that opens up the imagination to the things that we can do with a log to the things and information that we can receive from the lock. And uh, a very forward thinking feature, because nice. this is actually a dead ball lock. It's, uh, it sits right on the same hole as any dead ball in the market. Okay, you I, I gotta admit, that just surprised me. Yeah, I did. When you flipped that down and I could see the key, uh, I, that surprised me, because I, I was under the impression I that anytime was... you got an electronic lock, you were kind of sacrificing the ability to use a key, and that's that could be bad if like batteries yeah. die or anything like that. So it looks like this thing 
is an intelligent lock, but if I need to, I can default to the oh old fashioned. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. Because for 4,000 years, yeah. we've been using locks, right? Yeah. We are right. used to that key. Somehow it's our security blanket. Uh -huh. We need that key. Yeah, How yeah. can we live without a key? Well, we offer the key because it's there, but uh, we're really doing it in a way that is pushing you forward into this new experience yeah. of just accessing your door in a new different way. So like for instance, the way we do it is we place um, awesome. Bluetooth antennas on both ends. So in the security feature is that if you, end, if you approach the door from the inside of the house, it will never unlock, so you're totally safe. Uh, so you will not unlock the door before actually uh, you see who's there. But if you approach from the outside, there's a sensor, a proximity sensor that already wakes up the Bluetooth, so it pairs with your phone, and as you approach, it already opens the door. You don't need mm. to get your phone out of the pocket. Oh, that is You don't awesome. need to touch the lock. So it it's just, just like unlocks. the cars that we have these days with the uh, the keyless the entry. Key pop, but the even key. even farther, because with the, with those keyless entries, you still need to touch. Yeah. Right. This one, you don't. You just you I mean, imagine it's yourself just, just walking with, yes. with bags. You just walk in. Oh, how I would love that. Now, what happens if I, what if I leave? Do very good yeah. question, because we also sense, we know at all times if you're inside of the house or outside of the house, and we sense it. So if you want to have it that way set up, you can set it up that if you move far away, the lock will lock itself, or it will send you a text message saying, hey, you're leaving without locking your door. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can do it, you can have it both ways. So one, one scenario that comes to mind uh, that may, you may have an answer for is, if you're like loading things in and out, so somebody's going to be having having this this the key on them, right, or the the fob or whatever. Um, in in Texas, for instance, we are very very hot, so we keep the door shut. So like, let's say five people are loading in and out, loading in and out. Is there a way to deactivate the automatic lock? You can actually, okay. yes. Temporarily. That, yes, that's something that you can do. Or you can just do it in a very mechanical way, which means you open the door and you just throw the bolt right. so it stays there and you just open and close without any problem. Yeah, you can so, do that. Yeah, there's always a backup solution. Sometimes it doesn't have to be everything so high tech. Yeah, right? right? Exactly. Go old tech, <laughs> low tech. Well, it's a nice mixture. You can do it as you mentioned, but you can also do it the other way. So you can choose. So have let's you... let's talk about how it actually yes. works for a minute. So. I see. We've seen on this side. I guess this is like a screen. This is the camera. Yeah, in camera. Here. Let, let me show you. Okay, show me. It's very simple. This is the um, the screen that uh, where you see everyone that has accessed your door. Okay. That's awesome. And with the time and dates and who it was, you can also see who that person is. So you see the pictures of these people. You can also see my picture if you haven't seen me enough. Uh -huh. And uh, then you can also see if. Well, you can lock and unlock, and one of the interesting things about locking and unlocking is that we actually give you personalized messages because we know who you are, and this is what happens. Welcome, John. Oh, nice. Thank you. So, and it unlocked. Exactly, it's all about that personal experience. you see experience. the unlock right here, you see that it's and unlocked. And the nice thing is that it will tell you that the lock is unlocked. So if you ever walk away, like, I don't know, it's happened to me sometimes, maybe it's happened to you too, that I drive away, I get, I get to the office and I wonder, did they lock my yeah. door? Yes. Right? So you just go check, see if it's locked or not, and if it's not locked, you just go ahead, unlock it from anywhere in the world, because the lock is connected to the Wi-Fi. That's now, awesome. Yeah. It doesn't need to be connected to the Wi-Fi network of the house, but if it is, you have all this suite of activities that you can do with the lock. Yeah. So that's where we are. And then the last thing that is quite interesting is we are able to generate keys that are very time mm -hmm. sensitive. Like for instance, if you have a nanny yeah. that is coming only Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, would you set the key only for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday? And if she comes from three to five, it's only a key that works for those days ah, during those times. That and is cool. at that time, you receive an alert with the picture of the nanny actually entering that is into your house. Awesome. And when she leaves, you know she's leaving. That's so fantastic. There's this peace of mind that comes with information and yeah. this sense of control yeah. because there's no key that you're not accounted for. Right. You're exactly. Everything everyone that can access your house. And the thing is, you can't get any of that with a normal old-fashioned key. Yeah. You just don't know. If you give someone a key, you don't know when they come or go. Exactly. Now, and on the other side of this, I'm thinking now about installation. So, uh, so, very, yes, it's very simple. It works with batteries and, whoops, oh, nice. sorry. It's battery operated. Okay. Very easy to change the batteries. 
the electronics are very well protected and uh, the batteries last for a year. Wow. Uh, right now, that's one of the beauty of technology and how much is advancing. You have all these Wi-Fi modules, all these Bluetooth modules that are very low power and consumption. Uh, all these displays that do beautiful uh, messages and uh, images that also consume very little. It's, there's a lot that you can do. So that was one of the things that we're thinking about. We wanted something that was self-sustained. We didn't want to have someone to have to start drilling holes and trying to imagine what to change in their yeah. door. So it's a very easy to, um, to adapt into any door. And I think it's a, a kind of lock that will make any door look really beautiful. It is. OK, now, I, now I'm sold, 110% sold. Thank you. But I got, I have one concern. One of my, one of my concerns about any type of home automation uh, device is that we're going to have an app that works it. Right. But I, what I don't want to do is have a different app that works every single thing there is. So my question for you is, is this lock going to be able to integrate with any standard systems like Zigbee or Z-Wave, etc. Okay, you're making me tell you something that I don't want to tell you. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, you know, when, when we first began this project, we really began this project as a standalone product. Yep. Yeah. Because we were, we're still small, we're growing as a company, and um, it was hard to reach out in the ecosystem. So, um, you can use it as just with our own application yep. and just grow it however. Uh, but ever since we launched, we started working very hard to actually develop the integration with a couple of uh, systems good, that good. would allow to actually good. do everything that you mentioned. That's but great. But I haven't said anything yet. Yes. No, of no, course. No, no, no. Fair enough. We didn't That's even great. Ask you. That's great. Because <laughs> what, uh, what I want, and, and everybody knows this, I've said it publicly yes. many times. What I want, I have this dream of being able to have a single interface where I can do everything. I can control my locks, my HVAC, my yeah. pool pump. I can see usage monitoring for all my, uh, you know, outlets and and appliances and things. Mm -hmm. And I think this is a beautiful, beautiful product to integrate into it. I love everything about how you've designed it. I can't. It looks beautiful. It's fantastic. Thank you. So how much are we talking? Oh. Well, uh, a lot less than you can imagine, okay. I think. So right now we're running an Indiegogo campaign. Yes. And it's been going on for three weeks, and we still have a few more weeks to go. And if you pre-order uh, Goji at the Indiegogo site, it will be $235. And you take everything there is. There's no other fees associated with what you get. No monthly service fees, no app fees. What you get is what you get. Yep. That, that's what's there. Yep. Now, um, we will start uh, distributing Goji this December, and at that time, the the, the price for the for the market is two hundred and seventy eight dollars. Wow! So it's just coming up. Uh, we're so grateful for everyone to help us. Yep. So you know it's uh, coming up. And going back to what you were mentioning, you know you're such an advanced user. Yeah, yeah. And there's no doubt. Yeah. Everything <laughs> is integrated for all in your house. But you know if you think of the of the of the cycle of adoption, yes. right? Yeah. You know, we're people, at the very, very entry point for these oh, kind yeah. of things. Yes. Yeah, so now having verticals makes sense for many people because you need to feel comfortable adopting each one of the technologies. Then it's really great that you can already integrate it into other systems. But that's a very advanced uh, yes. way to think about it. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, but I'm also the guy who has a solar installation on the roof and done yeah. all kinds of automation things. Yeah. So uh, we know I'm very bleeding edge, you know. <laughs> but I think that's where we're going with all yes. of this ultimately. So and faster than we think. Yeah. The rate of adoption is going so fast that we don't even realize it. Yeah. And it's not just in the US, it's a worldwide event. We are so impressed at what kind of reaction we've gotten from places like South Africa, Azerbaijan, wow. Australia, just everywhere huh. in the planet. Places that you wouldn't 
you know, be talking on a regular basis, <laughs> and there's people interested in actually having goji in their houses. That's, That's fantastic. That's awesome. Oh my God, That's I just so feel awesome. so blessed. So, so what's blessed. the website address? Where should people go? Oh, it should go to gojiaccess.com. Okay. And, and from there, they can see uh, what we do, and they get to the video, and they can also go to uh, our Indiegogo campaign. Fantastic. But if they go to Indiegogo, if they uh, if they just look for goji, goji. they'll yeah. find us. Yeah. Well, you guys, go check it out. Let us know what you think of it. And if you have any questions, I'm sure their social media stuff is all over there. This is a beautiful, beautiful device. Thank you so much for taking the time out to show us and explain it all. And we definitely want to follow up with you more on it later. Yes. Maybe get one to try it, you know, do a full on you know, review. video review for you and yes, everything. Yes, please. And exactly. We'll make that happen. Thanks Great. for joining us. Thank you very Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Gabriel. Thank you very much. <laughs>